How's it going guys? Well of course you'll be seeing today is some ballistic shield footage that's coming from uh, the CTE servers that I play in and of course it'll be coming out for the Dragon Seat DLC in the near future. Uh, and it's ex it's basically a piece of equipment exclusive to the support class. You can't play it as anything else. Uh, and basically from what you'll see of it, it's basically a, it's a, the idealistic role for this I think is to be that sort of team play footage where one, one or two guys can employ these shields and the cover ground pushing up while the teammates behind them provide suppressing cover or killing the enemy something of that sort and I think it'll have its main role in the chain link gameplay that'll be coming out with that DLC as well because for now it doesn't really look like it has a big role especially since it's been nerfed because I'll talk about that right now when it first the Dragon's Teeth weapons first came out for the first version of the CTE uh, testing ground this ballistic shield was dramatically overpowered. You could absorb bullets, you could absorb explosives, LAV and tank shell rounds, you know, etc. It was, the thing was an absolute overpowered monster. It made you nearly invincible and it, it, it provided comic relief. You could go around and to top that off, it was a one hit kill, but well, 100 plus damage to hit on anywhere on someone's body. You could go around and just bash someone like that and next thing you know, dead. So it was dramatically overpowered. The second version of the patch on CTE though dramatically nerfed it, so it's range, because you basically have to be sitting right next to someone to actually inflict damage, maybe half a meter or something like that, maybe less. And on top of that, as you'll see in a second, where I bash this guy, I get a kill assist of 45 on one hit, which means that mathematically speaking, of course, it, it's going to require at least three hits to kill someone bashing them with this shield. Uh, so. Again, it's been dramatically nerfed. It also, as you'll see in a second here with the grenade, it uh, it not only breaks the glass, but it dramatically takes my health all the way down to 7. The thing with the glass, too, is that that's the weak point. It allows you to see, but at the same time, I've heard as little as a grenade or a 44 mag can pierce the glass, and then it's, you know, free shots at you. But I've heard on top of that that it's bugged as well, and hopefully that'll be fixed where... Because I've seen it where just grenades or anything, one hit on it can break the glass, other times it's nearly invincible. So again, and there's the three hits to kill a guy. Uh, so we'll see how it plays out. It'll be, it's dramatically nerfed. It's definitely not a standalone weapon and it'll probably come into play with the later weapon types or game type modes. But I guess it can have a team role, but it's, it's dramatically nerfed from what it was. Uh, and I guess the last thing of note with it is... You have to sort of play that cat and mouse role. You can use C4 like I'm doing here. Use it as cover to try and block some rounds. Then pop out the C4 and cat and mouse them all. Hope you enjoyed. See you later.